What's up guys, welcome to another episode. I'm your host Jonathan Barkington. In this episode we're going to be talking about utilizing a keyboard on a Android device such as a tablet. Now what you're going to need is this little cable right here and these little cables are going to be called OTG cables. And all it is is a micro USB but then it comes into a USB in which you can plug in any USB device. So as you can see, all I went ahead and did is you can purchase these for about two, three bucks online. They're pretty, pretty dirt cheap. So just plug it in. Then this cable right here is going to then come around here, which is connected to just a typical keyboard. And as you can see, when we are in this little search bar up top here, let me see if I can make this a little more viewable for you. It probably should drop the brightness down a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, and I will type a G, there's a G. So as you can see, it works. Oops. If I can zoom that in there for you as it works. So it's pretty simple, pretty backspace. Uh, this makes it really nice, especially if you get one of these like little teeny keyboards with you. Uh, you can bring just a tablet with you on the road. Uh, then you can also uh, type maybe long documents. You don't have to bring a laptop with you all the time. If you get maybe one of those little fold-up keyboards, just throw it in your bag. Get a small little tablet with you. You can sit there and just whip out a nice little article. Maybe if you're a writer for a book, whatever it is, emails. It's the best way of doing it. Uh, then there's also going to be other applications on here where you can actually utilize a mouse. And yes, you can use these OTG cables to plug in a mouse. Or if you want to, you can plug in a USB sticks for memory. So if you want to transfer files back and forth a little bit easier, that's a way of doing it. Normally we either have to use a program such as AirDroid where we'll need a Wi-Fi connection to then sync to our uh, computer to transfer files that way. Or we would have to use a micro SD card and then transfer it. But there's many, or send it in the cloud. Uh, but with this way, we can just directly connect a USB stick and transfer files back and forth without a hitch. Uh, but that's all I want to again show you. But if you do have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.